Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 18B notes on measuring correlation. Uh, at the end of this, you should be able to say, um, you should be able to find by hand and by using technology the correlation coefficient and interpret its meaning. All right? So, um, the correlation coefficient um, is the R, and we'll talk about what that means. Here's the R, R, R. Um, the the correlation coefficient is the R value here, and it says, so the closer the correlation coefficient is to 1, the more the data represents a straight line. So this one here, the data is pretty much in a perfectly straight line, so the correlation coefficient is 1. This is pretty close to a straight line. It's, you know, it's fairly tightly clumped, so the correlation coefficient is 0.8. This one, it's starting to get a little bit more scattered here, so the, it, it's not quite, the data isn't quite as... Um, well clumped together, so this is a 0.5, and then this one is has got a very what we call weak correlation because again the dots are kind of all over the place. It just kind of looks almost like a spray pattern, but you can kind of notice that since there aren't any here and there aren't any data points there, but there are some in the corners here. There's a little bit of a correlation. Okay, so with that, let's figure out, let's calculate a correlation coefficient. All right, so. Pete wishes to determine the correlation between the number of rows of laces on his new slick sneakers and sales. Um, make a scatter plot of the data and then find the Pearson's correlation coefficient between the two variables. So let's just start off with our scatter plot and then we shall move from there. Uh, let's see, today I think we should have um, Abraham Lincoln talk to you, tell you a little bit more. Hopefully, this will be better than the uh, Barack Obama one where he would not close his mouth so hopefully this will work out so let's make ourselves a um, scatter plot alright so this down here let's make this the uh, number of rows of laces so um, number of rows of laces okay you're going to always want to title your each of your axes. So let's see, this just only needs to go up to five. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then this one here needs to be sales in thousands. So this is sales in thousands. Okay. So let's see, that needs to go up to eight. So I don't know, let's do, let's see, there's, make that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, that is not, that's not good. That's good enough. Eight. All right, so first one is at one and three. And then we have two and three, four, and six, it's about right there, and then five and eight. So there's our scatter plot. So it looks like the data roughly follows a straightish line there. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the we call it the Pearson's correlation coefficient. And the good news is this we can find on our graphing calculator, um, just like what we did just like what we did on the 18A notes. Okay, so you're going to want to turn it on, go into stats, and we are going to edit. Here's all our data from uh, yesterday's notes, so we'll get rid of that. So to get rid of data that's already in there, you push the clear button. Don't push delete, because that'll just get rid of your entire list. Just hit the clear button. All right, so we're going to want to enter this data in. So we got one, two, four, and five for our first column to four and five and then for our second column we got three three six and eight alright so there's all of our data and again we're gonna wanna go into right back into stat It's pretty much the same exact in fact it is the same exact steps as what we did yesterday so we're gonna go back over to calculate and we're gonna calculate a linear regression alright so we calculate our linear regression and we get that the equation of our line, not that they're looking for that, it's 
1.3, um, so it's 1.3x plus 1.1 is the equation of the line. Now, the correlation coefficient that we're looking for is the r. So it's 0.96, basically 9.69, or basically 0.97. So the correlation coefficient, which is r, is 9 point, oops, sorry, not 9 point. 0 0.97, which means it's a strong correlation. Okay, and that is, that's a pretty strong correlation because again, they look pretty linear. This one's off a little bit. If this one happened to have lined up perfectly, it would have been a 1.0. All right, so uh, really that's all there is for this is just figuring out the uh, correlation coefficient. Ah, one quick thing on your calculator, if you don't get this r squared or the r value what you have to do is you actually have to go into uh, the diagnostic you have to turn diagnostic on and how you do that is you do second and then catalog which is the number zero and it's going to give you this big long list and what you have to do is you have to go down to diagnostic on all right and there it is it's right here so you do diagnostic on you hit enter and it's done and then if you go back in, if you didn't have it the first time, you go back into stat, calculate, linear regression. And if you hit enter on this one, you should now get your R squared and your R values. All right. Okay. Um, so you should now be able to say um, that you are, I, I'm able to find by hand and by using technology, the correlation coefficient and interpret its meaning. All right. If you have any questions, please ask. Thanks.